Hey guys, it's Justin from My Flyer Options. I uh, hope you all had a great Easter. I know I did. Um, we've been really busy here at HFO the past week because the market's been in constant motion. Uh, luckily, mostly in an uptrend. Uh, we've been analyzing a lot of earnings plays, so be watching for those in the near future. Uh, Roger has been uh, coordinating with some traders and also newsletter writers to uh, get y'all the best content and trade alerts, so that's what he's been up to lately. Roger and I have been uh, beta testing a weekly options trading software platform, and uh, we're having some great success with it, so definitely stay tuned and be looking for those trade alerts in the future because they're honestly just opening up our horizons in the market and are providing brand new opportunities for you and us. Now to go over the trades of last week, uh, we closed three successful trades out and the first one is going to be our May 14 BP calls at a 37% gain. Next is going to be our JCP vertical credit spread puts which are going, we closed out at a gain of $40 per contract. And lastly is going to be the Yahoo uh, vertical debit spread puts that we closed out at $25 per contract gain. Also, if you guys are looking for a platform to trade these options on, uh, we exclusively trade with Options House. Uh, and if you're going to want to look at, at the link in the description below, the Bitly link, uh, that is a link to Options House. And if you sign up through that exclusive offer, that's going to be 100 trades free. As you guys may have noticed, the watch list on the newsletter got a lot bigger this week. And that is exclusively due to our new uh, screening software that I was going over. And uh, so be expecting to see a lot more on the watch list. Some of those, the list is huge, I can't remember all of them, but some of them are going to be Blackberry, Yahoo, Apple. Also, you got to remember, before you place any options trades, a very key factor is going to be the earnings date. And we're usually not going to want to trade uh, within 10 days of the earnings date, because as we know, that can heavily manipulate the stock unless you have an earnings play in which you think you know which way the earnings is going to be, either good or bad. Um, but to, this week is a very heavy earnings week, a lot of earnings coming out this week, so definitely something to watch for. Uh, and now a little informational segment on options and other trading expirations. Okay, just a real brief segment here about uh, expirations and uh, just a good thing to really wrap your head around because I'd say one of the main key differences between an option and just a normal ETF, a stock that you could go buy, is that uh, options have expirations. And that adds uh, another dimension because you need to know when, wh how far to buy it out, how short, to, how short you want the expiration. Basically, you got to put a time frame on what you think the option is going to do as opposed to uh, just selling a stock or buying a stock whenever. Um, so a regular options expiration, it can be exercised before the expiration, and uh, the expiration is always going to be the third Friday of the month, um, and that's what we're going to be seeing mostly. Um, and exercised, all that means is basically you're able to take profit on it, um, and yeah, I like to I like to call exercise more just profit taking. So you basically simplified terms you can get out of it whenever you want and honestly I think that's the only way options should be traded I don't know why anybody else would trade them differently um, the European expiration and they call it the European expiration because it started there but some American firms have opted in to do it like this so that's something you gotta pay attention to when you're opening an account and these options can only be exercised on the expiration date so you'd have to wait till the actual date of the expiration that you bought it on as opposed to being able to get it out get out of it whenever you want which to me I just don't it doesn't sound appealing to me it might sound appealing to y'all but um, definitely better to have more flexibility to, on when you'd be able to get out of it um, weekly options are also a semi new thing uh, they are have been traded since 2010 and uh, they have a one week lifespan and this is going to be similar to the day trading of stocks I would say it's kind of it's the the short term options and uh, they have four expirations per month uh, four weeks in a month and they very they're very popular um, like I said for the people who like to get in and out of things very quickly uh, aka day traders um, Basically, they like this kind of stuff. 
And then lastly, binary options. We haven't really gotten to binary options yet, but um, it's also something that uh, me and Roger trade. Uh, binary options, Forex, um, they're all pretty similar. And these are going to be uh, much shorter in length than all the other options. And you can basically, you have probably the most flexibility with these except for you cannot exercise these while they are going on. They are all exercised at the time of expiration as opposed to being able to get out of them whenever you want. Um, and you basically get to choose 60 seconds, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30, you, and you can trade commodities, currency pairs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but that's just a brief look on some expirations that really sets options apart from just the regular stock. That's going to be it here at High Flyer Options for this week. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to send questions, comments uh, to info at highflyeroptions.com and uh, see your suggestions on this video. Uh, it was great to see you all.